The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Everybody and welcome to the Daily Buzz Radio Show. I'm your host Taylor. It's just me today. No one else. Sorry about that. You're stuck with me for a full hour. How about that? <laughs> Let's go over some celebrity birthdays actually. For Kelly Clarkson, she just turned 36 today. And Rebecca Mater, uh, Mater for, just turned 41. She's from Once Upon a Time. So happy birthday, celebrities. And a little bit about some news for uh, today, this morning in Fort Worth. There was about two, do, uh, two dozen rail cars that came off the train tracks, and they contained ethanol. Then they overturned and burst into flames. If you're actually watching on our Facebook Live, uh, you can see it on there on our screen. And it, they caught on fire and everything, so that was pretty dangerous. Um, I haven't done the update yet to be able to see if they've got it under control or not, but hopefully they have by now. Another thing in news is that Occidental made a competing offer to the Woodlands-based and uh, Anadarko Petroleum Company of $57 billion, topping Chevron's $33 billion deal, which is insane, I think so. It's kind of weird not having anybody to banter with, but, you know, bantering with myself is also fun, I guess. And another fun thing, uh, there's actually in Idaho a giant potato that was turned into an Airbnb that you can actually rent for $200 a night. It's a fake potato, don't worry. There's not a, it won't be spoiled or anything. But it's a big giant potato. So I don't know how I'd feel about staying in a big giant potato. It sounds pretty funny. It sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> but yeah. So comment below in our post on Facebook if you would want to stay in a, gi- a giant big fake potato. <laughs> Keep it interesting. But yeah, so I'm your host for today. Um, a little bit about our show if you're just now tuning in or if you never heard us before. This is the Daily Buzz Radio Show on KNLY 91.1 FM The Boss. And we go on from 12 to 1, Mondays through Fridays. It's usually myself and Trey. Uh, we'd love to have different business owners come on, different guests, uh, whether you're an event, you're just a nonprofit, you're a charity your business owner or your musical artist or any type of artist we want to hear from you we want you on our show so definitely give us a call at 281-292-7911 or you can contact me at my email taylor at radiotheboss.com or trey t-r-e at radiotheboss.com we'd love to hear from you you can also message us on facebook we're all across social media we're on facebook youtube twitter uh, instagram we have places everywhere so definitely give us a contact we would love to talk to you we'd love to have you out on our show or even if you're just somebody who's interested in working with us, whether you want to be an intern or you just want to be a, a sponsorship promoter, give us a call. We would love to hear from you. So definitely today we're going to have some interesting guests. We actually have a recording with the uh, Trey and the University of Houston going over their technology institute. So that's going to be going on next. And then we also have a musical artist named Chris Goodwin that's going to be in the studio today talking about his experience throughout music and his journey that he's taken and playing a live set for us. So definitely stay tuned after these messages. We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Texas Crawfish and Music Festival. Come in and enjoy the best crawfish in town. Music party for the entire family, April 27th and 28th. Save the date. 
Performing live, country music artist Junior Gordon. Special guest Curtis Grimes. And more artists. Doors open at noon both days at Preservation Park in Old Town Spring. Children under 5, free with an adult. $12 tickets priced at the gate. Purchase your tickets online at TexasCrawfishFestival.com. Sponsored by Planet Ford, Comfort Suites, First County Emergency Medical Services, Global Live, and KNLY 91.1 FM The Boss. We will see you there. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. For fresh flowers fast, call Barb's Arts Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, Barb's Arts Floral.com and Barb's Arts Floral Boutique.com. Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road, Houston, Texas 77038. Text 832-466-8414. Barb's Arts Floral delivers fresh flowers fast. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Today with Cache, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 to 10.30, 91.1 The Boss. Watch me live, Facebook, YouTube. Don't forget, 91.1 The Boss, Today with Cache. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U, insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate U, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday at 91.1 The Boss. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 film. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Trace Sambera with KNLY 91.1 FM, the boss radio station out of the Woodlands, Texas. Today, I am interviewing at the University of Houston campus at the College of Technologies, the Dean, Anthony Ambler, along with the Professor of Practice, Dave Crawley. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Good afternoon. Well, yeah. good afternoon. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for having us. So, I've heard a lot of great things right now coming out of the University of Houston, specifically the, uni the College of Technology. I hear of new innovation programs, a lot of undergraduate programs that have been recently written. And so I have to ask, where did all of this come about? How did, you know, how did the idea of creating an innovation program come about? Well, I could uh, hand most of this over to David, but let me just start by sort of saying that uh, we both came on board the College of Technology probably about 20 months ago, would you mm -hmm. suggest? Yes. Uh, I moved here from another academic location in South Carolina, although I have to point out that I first came to the U.S. in 96 and spent all my time, 15 years in Austin, Texas, and had to come back here because the barbecue is so much better. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> uh, but then 20 months ago, we were given the, uh, the, uh, the goal of revamping what the College of Technology is doing to make their programs more interesting but also more relevant. Then I met David, or rather he introduced himself to me, I think it was that way round, because he was doing some other work at our Sugarland campus, which is another uh, place that we're operating from in, uh, in Fort Bend County. And uh, he was doing some interesting work in uh, virtual reality, I think. Okay. But then we started talking more and more, and he said, I got this idea about an innovation program. Mm -hmm. So from that point, I now hand over to David. Uh, it was a wonderful conversation we had. Mm -hmm. uh, we um, looked at the marketplace and uh, what the other colleges and uh, universities were doing around the country, and we saw a specific need to bring the skills and systems thinking science, these disciplines, to the students. And uh, from, a, uh, uh, from a competitive point of view, uh, we feel that the community with these skills can lift itself up with a workforce that is um, adaptable 
to creating opportunities and solving problems. Mm -hmm. And we feel that that's a wonderful cause to step forward with. Now, what is the goal of the innovation program? I, I'm going to chip in. He, he, again, he, he, he knows, knows all the detail much more so than okay. I do. It's his baby. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to add to that that we're talking about uh, the position of the U.S. in the world economy, if you like. If we think back over the last few years, you know, with the space program, which was very innovative times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the Cold War was very innovative. Unfortunately, you have to sort of say that wartime is obviously very innovative because you need to generate new ideas. Uh, and of course, the U.S. went through the integrated circuit revolution. My background is electronics, so I had to mention that. Okay. Uh, but there isn't quite such the same impetus for real innovation that there was going back 20 or 30 years ago. And we see the rest of the world catching up with the U.S., which from a straight uh, competitive perspective is not a bad thing. But we want the U.S. and the U.S. economy to maintain its technological edge. And so this whole thing about bringing in the idea of how do you innovate? It's not entrepreneurship, which is you've got, a, you've got an idea and this is how you make a business out of it. How do you get those good ideas going in the first place? Mm -hmm. And uh, David, who's been leading the way uh, with several of our colleagues on the innovation program, is how do we get more people to be able to realize that they can themselves come up with very, very innovative ideas and solutions? David? Well, that's a wonderful point because we believe that um, innovation the dynamics of elegant thought and mm -hmm. creativity are skills that can be taught to anyone. And that's very important to understand because a lot of people look at this creativity dynamic as just an element for the gifted few. True. But if you follow systems thinking, which is based a little bit on Edward Deming's principles, that 96% of all failures, uh, 94, 96, is at the fault of the system, not the employee. Okay. And so by bringing these disciplines into the process and getting students and people to think differently, to see the patterns of the world around them in a manner that they're not just following them, excuse me, they're not just following them, but they're actually engaging with these patterns in a manner that they can choose whether they follow them or not. And some of the most important and groundbreaking discoveries that are breakthroughs are people who traditionally don't always follow the rules. True. <laughs> yeah, that's where the innovation part comes from, the creativity, like you mentioned. Well, it does, but this is what's critical. You've got to put discipline in this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, creativity freeform is uh, subject to uh, epiphanies of just spur of the moment that is by chance. But if you put discipline, then you create ideas that become concepts mm -hmm. and you provide the thinking process as elegant. So people see the world differently after a point in time. Okay. Now, how long have you both all been working on the innovation program? How long has it been? You said you met each other about 20 months ago. Yeah, it's been about that, right? About 20 months? Okay. Yeah. Now, how soon will this program become effective? August. August, okay. It'll be August. And uh, one of the factors, by the way, I'd like to jump in with this, is that we deployed a toolkit of, you know, for the platform mm -hmm. of the program with an um, uh, industry-accepted uh, program called... Um, Innovation Engineering, which is sponsored by the uh, University of Maine uh, Foster Center of Student uh, Innovation. And um, uh, you can get a blue belt or a black belt um, that the industry recognizes. So people who go through our program, you learn these skills, and then the college places its unique aspects on this platform okay. so that the students don't just go through um, um, a template but they have the benefit of the uh, intellect of the college and the university to to build on top of that and so with with the degree you not only have a great degree from a tier one university in one of the fastest growing colleges of technology in the nation but you also have an industry certification that's recognized by uh, companies around the world. Nice, nice. So I, 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 I'd like to add a couple of points as well, which is um, we're a very st STEM-related discipline. And one of the problems that we have in, in almost any country is 
trying to excite more students to want to study STEM, engineering, technology, uh, sciences, um, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, for too many people, it seems far too academic. But this sort of program really brings the excitement back into it. So hopefully we'll get more people wanting to study the STEM disciplines at high school, going on to either community college or on to um, university level uh, four-year uh, institutions, and then going on to do research. But we're also using this, 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 this material to um, uh, give continuing education for people working in industry and commerce. So it's all levels. We have, you've done, I believe, David, some uh, uh, courses at the high schools, which you've got the kids very much excited oh. and the teachers excited. Oh, nice. We're okay. doing these sort of things at community colleges, at four-year colleges, that's us, uh, but also in local companies. So there's this whole mindset coming along mm -hmm. uh, that's getting people involved. But then it leads into economic development, which is something which this college is particularly interested in. Okay. Now, the, the program that you have put together, which will be available in August, it's not necessarily for only technology students or innovation students. This program is available to all the University of Houston students, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, the, the minor degree is. Okay. Um, and, and it's called Applied Innovation. Okay, Applied Innovation. All right, nice. Now, how will students learn in this innovation program? They're going to learn by doing. Uh, this is what's called um, a, a hybrid or a flipped classroom where the students will go online, watch the lecture, answer some questions, and then they will get an assignment and they'll come to the classroom okay. uh, for about an hour and a half, two hours, <laughs> and they will actually do the skill set and they will learn it and master it uh, much you know, of course, to the approval of the instructor, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, and they'll do that once a week. Oh, nice. Okay. So what is the difference between the innovation program and others? Well, the other programs uh, focus on uh, entrepreneurism, which is great. You know, the University of Houston has a great entrepreneurial program. I think it's ranked second in the nation. We have an innovation laboratory that focuses on helping uh, professors, students, and people in the community to incubate uh, their ideas and develop a business out of that. What we do is one step back, where we provide the platform of skills and disciplines that help feed that environment of business development for startups to be more successful. Okay. Providing the ideas from which you're going to build the business. Okay, okay. Yeah, Great. and we actually also help students uh, uh, learn how to do patents. You also teach yeah. students how to do patents? Right, how to write a patent, how to build uh, prototypes as well. Oh, wow, so you cover all bases. Oh, yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know we're, we're, we're blessed in this university by also having colleges of engineering, natural sciences, business, and law. So we're providing another facet to the overall picture. So we're collaborative, not competitive. Nice, okay. Now, where did the innovation program come from? Who came up with the idea, or how were you able to put it together? Well, that came from, um, uh, I'm certified in innovation engineering. Okay. And uh, that's the platform that we uh, built on, which is uh, an industry-recognized uh, program. It's been in, involved uh, since, uh, uh, pardon me. It's been a program for over 34 years. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, it's been, it's taught in around 10 universities, uh, 10 or 12, I can't remember the exact number, uh, sponsored by the University of Maine. And uh, we're the first tier one university uh, that has picked this up. Okay. Now, here, because uh, I've read previously about the technology leadership, the innovation management, the applique, uh, the appli applied innovation, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but he, what is innovation to you? Innovation is something that is meaningfully unique. It's got to be meaningful to somebody. Somebody who th would spend money on it or invest time. Mm -hmm. It's got to be meaningful and it's got to be unique. Unique to the world or specifically unique to the moment. An innovation by its nature is an association of ideas mm -hmm. that mashes together and so you can fine and be stimulated, so to speak, um, from something you see in Paris, something you see in Italy, and then maybe Johannesburg uh, or Madagascar. 
and you can bring these ideas together to form one. And uh, that's part of the disciplines and the systems that we teach as well is how do you recognize this and how do you stimulate your mind? See, one thing we've learned is that you can't grow new brain cells, but you can increase the connections between the neurons. So you can actually grow your brain. Oh, wow. So something that is meaningfully unique ha can be inspired by being stimulated with the diversity of resources that you use to stimulate those so ideas. So people on this program have to abstain from alcohol? Uh, I, I would advise it. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, a question that had to be asked. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one, <laughs> uh, well, alcohol would probably drive out fear, uh, the, which is the biggest impediment of any innovation, certainly of the innovator, mm -hmm. is fear. Yes. And so how do you drive out fear? A lot of stimulation. Google's a great technology, yes. and uh, also observing the world around you, mm -hmm. uh, understanding the patterns as, that we mentioned uh, earlier, and then finding all these different aspects and resources, and then through that, your brain actually grows from it. Now, I have mm -hmm. to ask, this innovation program that you have put together, what value do the students get from being a part of it? We have found um, through um, uh, various um, um, industry associations that uh, companies are looking for uh, graduates out of college who can identify unmet needs, solve problems, communicate the solutions to others that will inspire them to either action or give resources to actually solve that problem, and then how do you make it happen mm -hmm. through agile development? And these are some of the core principles that we bring together in this program. Now, you also mentioned earlier about patents and covering all bases for the innovation program. Where do the patent potentials come from? The student. The student. From the ideas that they create in the innovation program. Now, once a, once a student is able to get a patent I, um, a patent signed or put together, mm -hmm. where do they go from there? We're going beyond from a patent. Where, what's the next step? We have this excellent entrepreneur program at the University of Houston and the Innovation Center. There you go. <laughs> In the business school and College of Engineering. So I see a lot of great things coming out of the College of Technology. I need to ask, where do you see the College of Technology within the next five years? As far as innovation is concerned, it's going to be a very exciting time. We're building these programs and we're starting to market them. We're getting great feedback from high schools, from community colleges, uh, from four-year institutions like ours, from uh, local industry and commerce, big time. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take a quick breath and see how well these do expand in terms of how many students that we, do we get registering and see what the feedback is from the people who employ them. Uh, stuff like that. And then we'll either modify our programs, we'll expand our programs to fill the market need. But we need to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, you have another campus, correct? It's here down in Sugarland. Down in Sugarland. Okay. Now, roughly how many students do you have there? At the moment, I believe it's something like uh, 1,500 in the College of Technology. Wow. And I know that the Sugar, entire Sugarland campus is uh, uh, looking to expand to 10,000 students over the next uh, eight or nine years. Oh wow, so it's going to be very quickly mm -hmm. oh, yes. a, a, a great big expansion. And of course Fort Bend County itself is expanding at such a rate, so we're providing for fulfilling a need to that community. We'd like to see maybe a campus out in the woodlands. I think that would be nice. <laughs> uh, if, if anybody here watching wants to make a donation, uh, <laughs> that would help facilitate We may know a couple process. of people. We may know a couple of people that can work <laughs> that out. No, but I, I, I really do uh, enjoy speaking with you all. I think that the innovation program that you all have put together is going to be something of great fulfillment for the city of Houston as well as the college or the University of Houston. Um, but I think with that being said, I believe we're done. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. or Thank you for having us. And we'll be back soon. Look great. forward to seeing you again. All right. Thank you.
We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Texas Crawfish and Music Festival. Come and enjoy the best crawfish in town. Music party for the entire family. April 27th and 28th, save the date. Performing live, country music artist Junior Gordon. Special guest Curtis Grimes. And more artists. Doors open at noon both days at Preservation Park in Old Town Spring. Children under 5, free with an adult. $12 tickets priced at the gate. Purchase your tickets online at TexasCrawfishFestival.com. Sponsored by Planet Ford, Comfort Suites, First County Emergency Medical Services, Global Live, and KNLY 91.1 FM The Boss. We will see you there. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Boss. We're interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. For fresh flowers fast, call Barb's Iris Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, barbsirisfloral.com and barbsirisfloralboutique.com Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road Houston, Texas 77038 Text 832-466-8414 Barb's Iris Floral delivers fresh flowers fast This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM Today with Cache every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 to 10.30 91.1 The Boss Watch me live, Facebook, YouTube Don't forget, 91.1 The Boss Today with Cache This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station And let our multimedia radio station promote your business Contact us today at 713-370-5051 This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U. Insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate U, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday, 91.1 The Boss. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 film. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Daily Buzz radio show. I'm your host, Taylor, and we have a guest in for today, Chris Goodwin. Hello. What's up, everybody? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How was your drive out here? Uh, it was not bad. It took about an hour. <laughs> so that's not bad, coming from my side of town to the Where Woodlands. are you from? The Houston area? Like downtown? Yeah, Houston area. I grew up on the south side in Sugar Land and kind of live in the southwest part of Houston right now. Nice. Yeah. All right. So where do you, um, what do you do? Let everybody know what you do. Well, um, I do music for a living. So not really, it's, it's been a bunch of different things, but like I went career when I was 16. And so I've been doing music full time since I, you know, for 20 years now, which is crazy to say, but, uh, you know, I'm still. I'm only, I'm 25 years old, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. I remember 25. That was a good year. <laughs> Many moons ago. Yeah. But yeah, been uh, I just you got five uh, years on your music career. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you know, been doing music full time. It's really kind of a lot of different things, but I consider that if I could play music and make a living, then I'm doing what I love and I'm fulfilling my dreams. And so yeah. that's where I'm at. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your past, as far as like bands you've been in, things like that. Sure, like I said, like I've been playing in like rock bands since I was 16. And so I started in a band called Modern Age John and played in a bunch of, played in that band for about four years until my 20s, and then spent my 20s playing in you know some local Houston bands, mm-hmm. uh, Eldridge, The John Bonet, The Last Starfighter, Virgin White. You played in Eldridge. Yeah, 
Really? Yeah. I actually, I remember them whenever uh, I was younger. My sister used to listen to them all the time. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so... You can't ever find them online anymore, though. So that's the thing, you know, like most of the these classic bands that I was a part of, like... Some of them didn't really make it past MySpace days. Yeah, I remember I had their, I had the sticker. It was like the white sticker with the cursive. Mm-hmm. I had the sticker on my mirror. I remember that. That's cool. That's crazy. Okay, I didn't even know that. So you learned. Yeah, so that was one of my bands. I'm currently playing a band right now called American Fangs. We're not super active right now, so I've taken the the time just to focus on a, a solo project, which is kind of what I'm focusing my efforts on now. Nice. Mainly because. It's like at the end of the day, you know, bands come and go, but I'll always be me. You yeah, know? you already have your own. Like you already, you can do a soul act if you need to. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty cool. You want to play a song for us? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to play a song. This one's called "Letting Go of Ghosts." I love the name. So what is this song about? The song, so it's called Letting Go of Ghosts, and um, really the lyrics of this song, probably the just the simplest way that you could say, like, you know, we're all in life, everyone's trying to find their own happiness, we're, we're trying to connect with people in order to find that happiness, and you know, sometimes we get hurt, sometimes we hurt other people, and then moving forward, we end up letting those past experiences, the past traumas that we go through, 
shape us, shape our decision making, shape our ability or inability to connect with others, you know? Yeah. We're just like these scars, these memories of the past actually are still shaping our future. So really it's just kind of about letting go of that and moving forward into what's new and what's real. Nice. Yeah. It's a beautiful song and a beautiful meaning. Thank you. And I, I completely get that. I actually have a tattoo on my back that says, Whisper Words of Wisdom, Let It Be. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like letting go of things and just That let sounds stuff like a happen. good lyric. Yeah, it it's is. The Beatles. Make a song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beatles song right there. <laughs> um, so where are some places that you actually play at right now? So currently, um, you know, the past couple of years for me, they've been kind of a very, like, intrinsic period. I'm working on a lot of, of original music and a lot of original projects. Um, but it's all kind of underground. It's all kind of like in the development phase. And so uh, one thing I do a lot currently is uh, I, I, I play a lot of covers. Um, like I do like solo cover gigs during the week. And I, I play in a band on the weekend uh, called False Guy. And we're like a rock and roll cover band. Mm -hmm. so with like, AJ Santana. With AJ Santana. My I've heard a lot about boy. him around everywhere. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. But yeah, so so we have a band called False Guy that we uh, play on the weekend, and we like rock out Katy Perry and Bruno Mars songs. You know? <laughs> um, I think I've actually heard. Um, I'm pretty. I've, I've heard some of your covers before. With mm -hmm. I don't know if it was them or not. Uh, they were on YouTube though, but I, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I don't know. If it was I think it was Kings Leon mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We did a little uh, like uh, acoustic trio session mm -hmm. on. Uh, you were like on a couch. On on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's over at Third Coast Red. It's a studio that I that I work at. Nice. So, um, but yeah, so so we do that, and you know, um, I enjoy playing covers. I really do because, you know, they 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 teach you a lot. They teach you like what people enjoy and what is pop. You know. And how to mimic songs. Right. You know, and then um, also how to reinterpret songs and still you know kind of keep the keep the, the, the powerful elements intact while kind of changing Change everything else. Own, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I play a lot of covers and covers kind of pay the bills, which is, which is cool Because everybody me. wants to hear them. Yeah, it's Everyone like, um, book for them. you know, it's, it's service industry really, you know, we play a lot of songs and that people want to hear. And even if we play them a thousand times, playing a song that somebody wants to hear makes it fun, you know, and, get to and they know it. Say. So they're like, yes, I know that song. And then it helps like, they're like, oh, I remember him because you played that song I like. Yeah. So it's it's kind of it's service industry really you know it's like, it's like I kind of feel like a bartender a lot of times like slinging drinks. But slinging songs. Yeah, you know people want a <laughs> Long Island iced tea. Okay, that's what's, <laughs> it's what you get. Like okay, so what are some uh, big songs that you know, like? Do you know like any Johnny Cash or like so? What are songs that you know that like are known, very known songs that you can play? Let's see. So, I mean, I try to play Top 40 music with okay. my own spin. I try to play songs that I think are cool and I can enjoy anything from, like, the Black Keys to, like, nice. Outkast or Ooh, like 21 hey Pilots. Yeah, I totally play Hey I love that song. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know how much time we have. But can, can you play covers? On, yeah, you can on play him? covers. It's acoustic. You're good to go if you want to play one. Okay. Would, would you, do you want me to play Hey Ya? Yeah, whatever you want to play. You surprise us. <laughs> Sure, why not? I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> my baby don't mess around because he knows me so. This I know for sure. But does you really want to fucking and stand to see me walk out that door? Try to fight the feeling Cause the thought alone Is killing me right now Yeah Thank God we mom and dad For sticking to together Cause we don't know how Hey, hey, hey. 
I've never heard it acoustically. Yeah, just chilling, just chilling, baby. I know. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. That's really good. Yeah, I just thought I'd play a little bit of it. I was like, yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done playing Hey on the radio. <laughs> hey, this is weird. That's How did I get here? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> You're funny. Like, I, have you been on the radio before? Yeah, I have. I don't think I've been on the radio like just me before. Oh, so you've been like as a band? Yeah. So you're like, it's all about you. You're like, whoa. It's kind of weird. It is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody look at me. No, don't look at me. <laughs> no, listen, let me play you a song. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. Okay, so uh, do you have any events coming up? Yeah, so I'll say this. So I'm, I'm, I'm really constantly playing. I try to play as often as I can. Some, you know, that's sometimes three gigs a week. Sometimes it's five gigs a week. Oh, wow. And so um, I, I have a website, you know, with, with my calendar online, and I try to keep all the dates up there so people can know where I'm playing. But that website's IamChristopherGoodwin.com. So, That's yeah, smart. that has all my dates. Make and, it your name. Yeah. And they can't forget you. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, let's see. Like this week, uh, like um, tomorrow I'm playing a little solo cover gig uh, in Midtown. Okay. A place called Beer Market Company in Midtown. So, yeah, and I think I have a, a, a false guy date this weekend. Um, I think Saturday. So, yeah, but all those dates are online. Nice. You can find out where I'm playing. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. So, I am Christopher, or Chris Goodwin. It's Christopher Chris. Goodwin. Oh, it is Christopher Goodwin on there. Yeah. Okay, I am ChristopherGoodwin.com. It's very long. It is very long. <laughs> but oh well. A lot of letters. <laughs> Is that how like people would contact you if they wanted to contact you or anything? I think that that's the best way. I mean, so I play in a lot of different groups and I have a lot of different projects. And of course, if you know the project, you can find me through there. But I, I'm trying to really make I am Christopher Goodwin like the hub for everything that I do, and uh, really a way you can find out about anything everything. that I do. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty so. smart to like make it like your one one stop shop. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so what are your plans for the future? Well, you know, for me, if, if I can just keep, you know, paying my bills and if I can keep playing music, I would consider it like a victory. Like I've been doing it a long time. I've gone through my own phases of being burnt out and being rejuvenated. And I kind of feel like I'm in one of those phases, which is cool and, and it's exciting. And so I think that there's some cool things that I am looking forward to that are on the horizon, some things that I haven't necessarily panned out. but. You can definitely, um, you know, plan to uh, continue to see me playing music. And I'm excited about the original project. It's taken me a long time to really kind of have the confidence to, like, have a solo persona and really push that. And so, but I've collected about 20 songs that I want to be releasing. That are your originals? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why are we doing covers? I'm just kidding. Well, because covers pay the bills. It's very true. Nobody very. wants to hear my songs. <laughs> Not yet, You don't anyways. know that. You don't know that. I've... Yeah. Yeah, I, you actually, that first song was really good. Thank you. So, makes me want to hear it again. Well, the cool thing about covers is that it's like an instant way to connect with someone who has no idea who you are. Yeah. And so I'm trying right now to kind of really merge like the two personas together where I'm out playing covers, playing music that people know and they're familiar with and that they it want to hear. It brings in the crowd. But then, you know, kind of start sneaking in my original music. And so this, this year I'm going to start like releasing um, some some songs probably in singles and in EP form uh, that are solo versions of songs that I've either have been writing you know recently or there are songs that I've co-written with uh, people in the past and other musical projects and stuff so I have a gang of music that I want to be releasing I'm currently I've I've kind of even thought it would be cool to to drop an EP like every quarter seasonally you know Um, so I'm kind of looking for different producers to uh, you know, be a part of, of, of each of those projects, respectively. That'd be pretty so, cool. But yeah, you can look forward to seeing some, me release some original tunes soon. Nice. Yeah, and bringing back some uh, some some old, beloved projects as well. That's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, cool. and then we'll come right back with you. So everybody stay tuned. Don't change that dial, and we'll be right back with Chris Goodwin.
We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Texas Crawfish and Music Festival. Come and enjoy the best crawfish in town. Music party for the entire family. April 27th and 28th, save the date. Performing live, country music artist Junior Gordon. Special guest Curtis Grimes. And more artists. Doors open at noon both days at Preservation Park in Old Town Spring. Children under 5, free with an adult. $12 tickets priced at the gate. Purchase your tickets online at TexasCrawfishFestival.com. Sponsored by Planet Ford, Comfort Suites, First County Emergency Medical Services, Global Live, and KNLY 91.1 FM The Boss. We will see you there. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Boss. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Fresh Flowers Fast. Call Barb's Ars Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, barbsirisfloral.com and barbsirisfloralboutique.com. Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road, Houston, Texas 77038. Text 832-466-8414. Barb's Iris Floral delivers fresh flowers fast. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Today with Cache, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 to 10.30, 91.1 The Boss. Watch me live, Facebook, YouTube. Don't forget, 91.1 The Boss, today with Cache. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U. Insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate You, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday at 91.1 The Boss. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 film. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Daily Buzz Radio Show. I'm your host, Taylor, and we have our guest here today, Chris Goodwin. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so for those of you who are, that are just tuning in, if you haven't been watching, um, he's a musical artist. He does some beautiful music. He's going to play an original for us right now. What is this one going to be called? Uh, this one's called Masquerade. Oh, I like the name of it. <laughs> Lights and sounds have left me in a trance I need a chance To shed this light and show inside Leave this mask and wear behind I see everything in this little world Through my disguise I'll be anything that I want to be Just don't look in my eyes The pain within I'll be separate 
change this taunting pain I'm about to go insane I see everything in this little world Through my describes I'll be anything that I want to be don't look in the eyes You don't look in my eyes Just Don't look in my eyes And care to dance need a chance pain within will it ends nice I was like alright it's ending it's that over was, that was good that was good thanks so and then we could probably hear me clap I'm clapping for no one that's listening I mean no one that's watching <laughs> 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 sorry about that so tell me an interesting story that you, like, a memory of yours that you have, like, whether it's, like, a crazy thing that happened at a concert or something or just some interesting story of yours that you have a good memory of. Hmm. You're going to put me on the spot. Yes, I am. <laughs> you don't have anything that just, like, pops up in your mind? First thing that pops up in my, in my mind, and uh, it's still, I don't know if the story has that much of a point, but it was it was something that popped in my, my brain and... You know, I've been playing music a long time, and, um, you know, you, you get used to it, right? You get used to the nerves, and uh, you get used to playing in front of people and being uncomfortable, um, and, you know, just just being, on, uh, you know, just on exposed the on the spot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so after playing, you know, so many gigs, I mean, it's, it, it's rare, I think, to kind of find those moments that still make you nervous you know and uh and so and i think i'm pretty nervous right now <laughs> i was just about to ask are you nervous right now yeah totally this <laughs> there's is, nothing to um, be nervous about you're just in a room full of a couple people just a couple people just hanging with out a with a lot of people, people listening and watching yeah but well, it's okay because if it doesn't scare you it's not worth it that's true very true right so yeah so there's like a few there's there's there, there's not a whole lot of of moments where i can just remember being like really nervous and really terrified and so this this, this being one of them <laughs> but uh but it's cool how, how am i doing am you're I doing, doing great right? i think you're doing great okay, we all cool. think so i appreciate that <laughs> so i think a lot I, like i just thought of the one of the last times i got nervous and it was playing with american fangs um and uh we were on tour uh winter of 2013 and uh we were we were on tour with papa roach okay and uh we're playing in the uk actually so both of those things are cool on their own you know like being overseas. papa roach and uk yeah that was it was um it was a pretty magical time because that was when we we just released a couple musics a uh, couple music releases overseas and uh you know so we were there we were opening up playing all these big venues uh, Is there a lot of people? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we were playing in front of, you know, a couple thousand people every night. Uh, the the wildest thing was going to, like, any of the grocery stores and checking out, like, the the uh, like the magazine stands and then flipping open a rock magazine and seeing us. Really? The, you know, That's awesome. Did you keep one of those magazines? I'm pretty for sure. For sure. You're like, yeah. Uh, I yeah. Have a, a couple, like, in, like, a freeze-dried bag you know <laughs> just like save them preserve save them, them forever that's so really show awesome my great grandkids one day cut it open it's like here you go but yeah i was just uh, grandpappy yeah I, I, I just for whatever reason you said whatever pops to your mind and i was just thinking about being backstage like in london playing the o2 academy and looking out and seeing like four thousand people you're and like, oh, uh, wow. and I was like, oh, this is real. You know, this is something <laughs> you don't experience all the time. But I do think that it's true. I think that it's important in life, for me, for sure, to find those moments that make you nervous, find those those experiences that you don't necessarily know. You're not certain if you 
if you have what it takes to get through or whatever. Yeah. Because those are, it, it's true, those are the situations that make you grow. So. Very true. Very true. I remember being nervous the first time I was on air. I was like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> I was not used to that. Just like, because even though there's no one in the room, it's just talking to it and knowing that people are watching. It's like, whoa. Yeah, for sure. That's pretty crazy. So. Yeah, so you've been doing it for, you, you've been, you know, going on the air here. For, for since few, since February, now, huh? yeah. So H how's that experience fun. for you? <laughs> oh, we're turning the roles here. Sure, huh? <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, it's been pretty awesome. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. I've been spotted before already now, like when I'll be like at my grocery store, things like that. So you're famous. No, no, definitely not. But I love having fun and talking on air. So so this show it's it's broadcast, you know, on. FM stations mm -hmm. as well, but and then but it's also being it's all over social media, yes. all over social media. So there's no limit to our touch. No limit. Nope. <laughs> it just goes forever <laughs> you're through like, you're time just and space. You're making this worse for me. Okay, so a question though: Whenever you're going out on stage, like what is something, or not even just on stage when you're playing gigs, gigs, what is something that like a big memory for you? Not like a memory, but like what is the feeling that you get besides nervous, like overwhelmed or anything? Yeah, you know, I mean. I think for me, um, I think practice does make per per you know practice does make perfect, and uh, you know doing it a bunch. I think it can um, it can uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say honestly, but like I <laughs> I feel like you can get acclimated to to really anything, but I think that there's. Like, whenever I do cover gigs, you know, a lot of times I'm just background music, and that's cool for me. So I almost have to, like, go and find my own happy place yeah. in those kind of moments. Is that, like, your favorite part, though, like, getting to play in front of people or the fans and stuff like that? I think so. I think I, I really enjoy just getting to play music and, you know, have people get to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and But it, it, it's a whole different experience to play original stuff, you know? Yeah. Because it is, it's definitely more exposed, you know? Playing... Playing cover songs is kind of like almost like like just telling jokes. Yeah, I get of, it. You know? So one last time, what is uh, what are some people like? What is a way that people can contact you? So my website is iamchristophergoodwin.com. That has links to pretty much all the musical projects that I do. Plus, it has a calendar that has uh, all my upcoming dates. So iamchristophergoodwin.com. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter under CPT Goodwin. Um, I, have, I have like a bunch of different personas or different tags that I'm trying to figure out how to brand. You know, yeah, but, but they can uh, find it all at the website. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate having you out. You Absolutely. sing beautifully. You play beautifully. Thanks. So maybe we can have you back out one more day. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to awesome. me. Awesome. But until then, you guys, um, so tomorrow we're going to have Prohibition Texas on. So that's going to be awesome. They've been here before. They're in Old Town Springs. They're the swankiest bar in town. And then we're also going to have the arena beyond the show from 12 to 1, you guys. So definitely stay tuned. You can watch us any day from 12 to 1, Monday through Friday. And it's usually Trey and I hosting, and we like to keep it fun. And if you're, again, if you're any businesses, musical artists, um, events, or just charities, nonprofits, anything like that, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have you on our show. You can call us at 281-292-7911. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. You can even find our uh, website at RadioTheBoss.com. But until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.